Hi guys, thank you and welcome. Today we're gonna to make the moon in record timing. The first thing you wanna do is download the color as well as the displacement known as the bump map of the moon, which you can get at svs.gsfc.nasa.gov forward slash 4720. Once you got that done, go into Blender, delete the cube, press numpad one, shift A, mesh, plane. Make sure the plane is rotated on the X axis 90 degrees. Uh, make sure that the X scale is two while the Y and Z remains one. Then we can go to the modifiers tab over here, add a modifier, subdivision surface modifier, keep it on simple, push everything up to six. You can do it less if you've got a potato PC, but if you can do six, do six. Then we're gonna add another modifier called your displacement modifier. And we're gonna click new, I'm gonna select this button over here. And then we're gonna add, open, the image we, images we just downloaded. The image you wanna download here is your idem underscore 16 underscore unit. It's basically your displacement or bump map. We add that to the scene. We look at this quickly and we can see, there we go. That's our displacement, our bump map. That's perfect. Now we can adjust the strength if we go back to the modifiers properties and we might wanna make this you know, 0.2 or something so it's not as noticeable. We will adjust this later because we're doing non-destructive modeling. The next thing you wanna do is add a simple deform, there it, there it is. Uh, then we, while you got that there, we're gonna press Shift A, empty, plane axis, and then we're gonna select the, um, the plane again, which we're gonna rename moon quickly while we add it. And we're gonna select the empty over here, make this 180 degrees, and put select bend. Next thing we wanna do is add another modifier, a simple deform again. Um, and then we're gonna make it connected to the empty again, make this 360, and don't forget to click bend, and put on the Z axis. And there you have it, we've got the shape of the moon. Now we can scale this up just to make it a bit bigger if you, if you like. The one thing you probably want to do, if you, if you can, add another modifier and we're gonna add a subdivision surface again and we're gonna just bring this up here. Don't add too much of this, your PC might not be able to handle it. So just play around with what you think is reasonable. Six and two is more than enough. Next thing you wanna do is click on the material properties, new. Always name your materials, this one's gonna be called moon. Um, and then we're gonna click on this yellow icon next to base color, image texture, open and we're going to select our image texture which is over there in 8k and then we're going to click on our material view and there you have it we've just made the moon in a matter of minutes if you're not happy with all this detail here if you think it's too much you've got to use um, your modifier properties let's just minimize all the ones we're not working in will be working in displacement and you can just adjust this. Maybe 0 0.05 might do it. And that might be more to your liking where it's got the 3D bumps and texture, but it's not, um, you know, in your face. Now you may ask, but how do I make this look like a yellow moon? Well, awesome, great question. First thing we wanna do is we wanna press Shift A well, before we do anything, let's just group this together, new collection. We're gonna call this collection moon. Everything that is directly associated with the moon, we're gonna put in here, which is the empty and the moon. And we can minimize that for now. And we're gonna create a new collection. And we're, we're gonna call this light rig. And then we're gonna press shift A. We're gonna cr create a circle empty. We're gonna rotate this on the x-axis 90 degrees. So when we press seven, we see it at the top here, which is perfect. And we're just gonna G and move it to about there. We can scale it up so we can see it better. But there you have it. It's somewhat in the middle. Next thing we wanna do, we're gonna call this light rig. Now we're gonna select the light over here. We're gonna bring the light down into the light rig section. And we're gonna name this sun. And um, one thing we wanna do with the sun 
is just change the properties, make the color a little bit more yellowy. You decide what color you like. That should do. And change the power to, I think power, to, well change it to sun first. Then change the power to four. Click on the render view. If you don't like the color, you can play around with it. Go for the, the type of yellow you like. And then we can um, make the, li the light rig the parent to the sun by selecting the light rig, shift selecting the sun, uh, pressing control P. Now, when we move our light rig, so for example, if we just move this over here, if we move the light rig over here, we rotate it, it changes how our moon looks, which is pretty cool. But let's say this is not Earth's moon. Let's say we're making a moon that has two suns. Great. Well, let's add another sun quickly. Shift A. And now we're going to add another, well, light, a sun, G. It doesn't matter where you put the sun. It, all that matters is the direction at which the light is shining. And uh, let's put this strength on two, which is a weaker sun than this because it might be slightly further away. Let's press one to see this line. We can rotate it like like this. If we change this to four, how will it look? That looks interesting. We rotate it like this. Change it to two. And that all we have to do, do now is select the light rig, shift select the sun, control P, object. So now when we rotate our rig, whether it's on the x-axis or on the z-axis or on the y-axis, all the lights move together and shine on the moon in the in the same way. Choose a choose a, an area that works for you, a, a combination that works for you. I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to change the color of the one light, the white one. And I want to see what will happen if I make it. Play around with it, have fun. And once you're done and you're happy, select, um, go to your render option here, change to cycles, and select. Well, first select your camera to make sure it's in line. Okay, well, we can move the camera if you press the full stop. Press one, press seven, scroll up. And we can press G and rotate it to about there. We can look at the view. Press one, press three, and rotate down. There we go, that's the view I want. Uh, make sure you're on cycles and then you can just render your image.